Welcome back to these happy days and times of ice racing. I don't remember where we left off or where we were when we last, sp last spoke. If I could spoke. So I'll tell you where we're at right now. Uh, the pipe is coming along, but I've hit a stopping point. The, uh, the community post I put up a couple days ago, a week ago, I think was the this was a little too big. I actually had to cut it open, cut a section out, re-roll it, re-roll it, re-weld it. I had stepped up and I had to step back down because I was to that bigger size and didn't realize it was too much. You couldn't, in the pictures, you can see the frame and the Honda with a little room at each. So I'm trying to maintain the correct diameter there. But uh, I got the hooks brazed on. So I'm probably going to paint that with high heat, flat black or, or semi-gloss because in the picture there is a little bit of shine. It's not dead flat like a, like a propane grill. But it's not like super shiny. So I had to stop. The brake pedal has been cut. You can kind of see it's kind of weird here. So I'm going to cut it there again. Add the piece I need to get it up. The problem is the foot peg has to sit up here. And I don't know where I got to be with the kicker, with the pipe. I think the pipe's a little too high as it is. I got to sit on this bolt flange right down here, let me do this. Now we can see it where the foot peg bolt. So I'm gonna make an aluminum block and then space that up probably three, four inches tall. And this foot peg was probably the original that somebody cut and put that piece of channel in. And you can see how it probably started out the same, but its life got altered. So I actually had one of these in stock. So thank you to the guy I bought all the air cooled stuff from. He knows who he is. I've uh, been digging through those parts for quite a bit now, but that's hit. So we got trouble. So I'll probably slit this open here, let a little tab here, side and right and left, both sides, and slit the bottom, bend it down. The bottom slit will close up and then I'll just put a wedge in here. I'll just make a piece to fit that and re-weld it. Uh, I do want to be down a little lower because I'm going to run this size back a few more inches and then I got to go back the other way. It's just going to be a small short expansion chamber if you want to call it that. Um, but I have the pipe here or the peg here. The pipe is moving. The brake is going to get it all hinges on that. I got to go get an aluminum block, mill it flat, uh, probably poke the holes right through it. I'll probably drill straight through and then tap them from either side or however I'm going to mount it. I haven't decided yet. Um, uh, oh, and the wheels. Now this wheel I got to take to my buddy, have him weld them holes shut. And we're going to start over, but check this out. Somebody used an engraver and put ice on each half of the wheel. How cool is that? So they were, they were always destined to be for the ice racer. So the blue wheels were for that one. And uh, something else I wanted to highlight. Oh, this is one of those rare occurrences where I actually want everybody's opinion because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I have a good idea here. Check that out. Those wheels come with a big, thick rubber gasket. Notice there's no, no groove for an O-ring like you would have in a st factory steel wheel. But uh, that's beside the point. Anyway, what I intend to do is get these three on 100 bolt holes welded shut from the other side. So then they'll be welded full. What I am going to do is take the wide half of this wheel with the skinny half of that wheel and the skinny half of this wheel with the wide half of that wheel. So I'll have... One welded, one good. One welded, one good. And at which point I can sit it in a milling machine like this. And I can drop down in there with the drill bit of the stud size. And I will have these holes that are not junk to guide me through the half of the wheel that needs to be drilled. So that's what I'm thinking. And like I said, this is a rare occurrence where I actually wouldn't mind having it in somebody's opinion. Because... There's a lot of math involved with bolt circles, and I don't understand it. It's way beyond me. So I'm not just going to try to indicate the center of the wheel and then pop that thing in there like that. And I don't even know how true the center of that is. So it's just going to be using an existing wheel as a pattern. And uh, 
it'll be fine because even though I'm flip-flopping two halves, the holes will be true to each other. So as long as those two halves go back together as a married unit, instead of this being the right wheel and that being the left, it'll be half left, half right, half left, half right, but the holes will be following the existing wheel. So, and it does look like that there's a phasing thing too. So I'm going to mark them so that the, once I put the holes in them, I'm going to mark them rear inner, rear outer, or right rear inner, right rear outer, and then front and front. I'll probably just do what they did with a little engraver and just mark it here, right rear and right rear. Then when I get them sent out to anodizing, when the halves come back, I'll have one, I'll know which location they go in, and two, I'll have some sort of witness mark here to phase the two halves because you could put it on. And I mean, this thing is worn so bad that it only wants to go one way. So once I have that, when I plunge them holes through there into the fresh material, I wanna make sure that wheel goes back home every time. So that's where we're at, that's the update. The knee cup is coming along great. I have it at work, have my buddy weld it. At some point, I'm gonna stick it in the snub there. And I clean the paint off the side so I can then just give her a little torch tack. And then at some point when this whole thing gets blown totally apart and goes to powder coat and gets done for real, then that can be final TIG welded and everything will be hunky-dory. So that's where we are. That's today's update. I don't remember where we left off, but here we are and there we go.